Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to another full of video of Infinity X ROM for Redmi Note 8 and the version I'm using here is V1.6. This is based on Android 14 and Infinity X did release an Android 15 version of this ROM and I will try out that ROM later on. But at first, let's see what we are getting with this ROM. As you can see, Infinity X 1.6 and the CPU departure level is October 1st, 2024. So this was last build of Android 14 based ROM for Redmi Note 8. Now coming to the UI changes and other things, I haven't found any kind of changes in the ROM actually. Everything seems to be working fine, but there are few bugs here and there everywhere. And in terms of usability, it's still pretty much usable, but there are much better ROM survival than this. So if anyone wants to try this ROM, don't try this, try another ROM. So first of all, let's talk about the network and other things. So as far as my users go, I have been trying out this ROM for about a week now. I haven't found any issue with network or anything like that. Those are working perfectly fine. And if you want customization, customization is a Bible as you can see here. Go here and everything is a Bible. So those things there, display section, nothing new. Everything is working there. And battery backup is pretty good. Not really excellent, but pretty good for Redmi Note 8. And the features also are viable, like controlling the charging and scheduling, all those things are viable. And in terms of security, like uh, fingerprint and face unlock, so both of them working. So as you can see here, pretty fast and there was no delay like if you keep your device for some time and if you try to unlock it takes some time some of the rom takes time to unlock the device or boot the device so this was not here actually but last build of this rom had this issue and they solved it actually so in terms of those still pretty much usable going back in terms of application we do have miui camera which is working perfectly fine and i did install a gcam here which is also working and now coming to the issues first of all i don't really know what happened to them but now safety net is gone so you can't use bank application here so let me try again so as you can see here so you cannot use bank application on this rom last build also got this issue but before that actually this issue was not in the rom but I don't really know why what happened but maybe on 15 based rom it's solved but i have to check out that one and if i go to setting about and as you can see here play product certification is also not there so these are few issues i'm facing with this rom and other things like in terms of gaming so it's pretty bad in terms of gaming i did try call of duty in medium and medium setting pretty bad did try in low setting it's still pretty bad i don't really know what's going on with their rom optimization and other things but gaming performance was pretty bad and we do have gemini here gemini does work but in terms of like circle to search and other things those are not available what it does actually if you press and hold this and it will take a snapshot and it will search the content so that's something here actually and it's kind of useful if you are using it but it's a little slow so that's all what we are getting with this rom obviously you should not try this rom it's not really that good it's still usable pretty much but there are better roms available uh, last android 15 based rom which i have reviewed pixel leg it was excellent so you can try that one it's much better than this rom so that's all about it but if you really want to try this rom i will put the rom link in the description below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one